I'll say well, a couple minutes, like a minute or two. But so let everybody come in and see the shit show. I'm gonna uh, go get some drink, I'll be back. <laughs> And it's my first time going live. Check, check, check. Okay, we good. We got we got a lot of people on this one. Yeah, we good, we good. So album out today. Dang! I'm excited. This is my first time doing like Q and A, so uh well, I'm telling y'all what I'm doing. But basically, remember those questions that I asked all the team Breezy to ask and me to answer the questions for? So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So we're gonna do like a quick a quick little Q and A. Figure it out. See what see what's going on. So we'll start off with like the first question and do it like that. Y'all don't mind all smoke. So what I'm in my house. So. <laughs> so how do you feel about the response the album has got so far? Um, for me personally, I feel uh, I feel good. I feel more excited. I'm I'm more nervous about this album. I'm always nervous every time the album come out. But I feel excited about this album because basically the time that went into it, the production, the, the work, and just like, I like making y'all happy. So however that that is, however I got to do it, whether on stage, whether on the, in the studio, in the house, however. And I'm just, I'm just more excited about people hearing it. So. As a creative force in entertainment, what stories do you want to tell? As a creative force in entertainment, what stories do I want to tell? Um, I think for the most part, a lot of my stories are told throughout my vision as far as videos, as far as like, you know what I'm saying, uh, my, my, my actual ability to be on stage, my, my, uh, creativity, me being able to like think about like certain songs, as soon as I go in the studio and think about a song, like, I automatically think about a video, or think about like a concept, so I think, you know what I'm saying, as an artist, I think my, my, my go-to is definitely like what I'm able to create or, or you know come up from scratch. Come up with it from scratch. Do you have a favorite color and why? Do I have a favorite color and why? I used to have a favorite color. I think as I got older, like I started like looking at auras, you know, chakras and different things. So what it made me end up doing is kind of having a bigger appreciation for all the colors, like every color. So it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Everyone has its own like uh, primary like kind of force behind it. Every, every color has its has its, its own like lane to be to, 
to like shine and be bright. So I like, I, it's a difficult question. I know it sounds loaded. It sounds like a fortune cookie answer. But I like all of it. I like all colors. It said that indigo is <coughs> vibrating at a much higher frequency. So what's the exact background for the title indigo for your new album? Oh, the title for indigo, well, I know a lot of people just think it's probably the colors and stuff, but if you look it up, you Google it right now, indigo children. Like, indigo children is like, it's basically about energy. It's about, it's about us being more one with ourselves, like our, our oneness. And, uh, our ADHD is in our, or well, my ADHD is in my downfall. <laughs> it's, it's actually my superpower. So, Do you plan on coming on tour overseas anytime soon? Tour overseas. I know a lot of my overseas fans pissed off. I know Brazil. I got a shout out Brazil. I got a shout out like <coughs> Europe. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, been, it's been crazy. I know we haven't been Japan in a while. Australia. Um, Canada. So, I mean, a lot of the places, we definitely trying to set up this tour to make sure, like, everybody else can get the whole experience. I know a lot of times we do the section go on tour and then we'll wait three, four months and then go overseas or, or wait a whole year sometimes. But we're coming overseas this time. I appreciate y'all and, and, I, and I thank y'all for being patient. So you've added businessman to your repertoire. What other ventures do you see yourself pursuing in the future? Oh, uh, ventures in the future? I just want to do music as well as I can. And anything else that's, that's uh, okay for me. I'm here. I'm able to create and I'm just thankful to be here. So anything in the future is, is whatever you guys allow me to do. But you know what I'm saying? Whatever you guys uh, like that, I, that I'm doing. So, yeah. What do you think is the biggest challenge you face? The biggest challenge for me? <coughs> um, the biggest challenge for me, that's a good ass question. Um, I think the biggest challenge for me would be... Uh, Damn, everything is a challenge. I think <laughs> I think being able to like figure out something meaningful to say or something that people can relate to is like is what I focus on the most. I, I try to focus on doing stuff that's relatable or doing music that's not just um, from a selfish standpoint or or just from a, a selfish outlook. Like I don't want to have it from a one-sided thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know everything, so. When I work and, and, and I do certain songs, sometimes I might hear a perspective that I didn't, I didn't look at, you know, a, a different view that I might not have looked at it, at it like that. So, you know what I'm saying? I think that's what, what, what it is for the most part. <laughs> what is the planning process like for creating your choreography and your shows? Uh, planning pr uh, process, I would say me and... Uh, my homeboy Josh, right? So Josh, I know you probably, a lot of my fans probably know Josh, know Jake, you know everybody on the team. But I think the, the, the prepping time and the, and the stuff that we do for the tours and rehearsals and shows, <coughs> man, it goes it goes from like a two month period. So we would do rehearsals for maybe like I would say a month and a half, then all the stuff on the stage and when we bring to the stage for like a month. And then throughout that time, It'll take us all in all about two and a half months to kind of like right before the tour starts to prep. So we already been prepping and getting everything done for this new tour that we're working on. So and the tickets is available. Whoever bought the two tickets get actually one CD. So thank you guys for buying that. So make sure y'all come to the show too. Being a dad, what added responsibilities do you have as a man? Oh dang! Oh, they team Bruce is coming with the questions. Um, being a dad, what added responsibilities do I have? As a man, uh, I don't think there is is no added, you know, responsibility. I think being a father, that's like that's a good responsibility to me. I feel like uh, if you're able to, to 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 make a child, like I feel like uh, the responsibility and the and the job is that is what the job is, you know <laughs> is looking for. So I think. I think for me, it's no added responsibility. I just think it's a responsibility that we're already kind of like privy to. It's more like more of a privilege. I think being a dad is is a uh, is fun. I still try to catch myself and stop being a little kid, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so, it's, but it's fun. I, I don't feel like it's a uh, 
I don't feel like there's an actual added responsibility. For me, it's, it's more of a, it's just, it's just what it is. You're either, you're either dad or you're not. So. <laughs> Do you have any plans to get back into acting in movies or television? Um, movies, television, acting, I definitely want to get back into the TV breeze. I know y'all want to see me on like, the, the big screen and different things. I, uh, I've been working like real, you know, I'm really quiet and low key, but I've been working on a lot of film and television stuff, you know, behind the scenes. So it's not as, uh, I didn't want to, you know, be out there like, look, check out this, this coming. And then it don't come out. So, so I wanted to make sure everything I'm doing is right. So we got some, we got a lot of film and television stuff. So. What sparked your interest in learning more about spirituality and enlightenment? Um, what sparked my interest about spirituality and enlightenment? I mean, I felt, I figured that, I'm not saying I was bored, I just figured my mind wanted to learn more. I figured, I figured like, spirituality is something that we all kind of feel, we all kind of have, but it doesn't have to be a fine print, it don't have to be a, a, a book you read or, 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 or something that, that people force you to go and, and learn about, like, you know, you find it on your own and once one certain thing like attracts you, whether it be astronomy, whether it be like you know, just knowing just knowing your like if you're a historian or whatever you want to be like <coughs> I feel like for me it's it's easier. It's easier to connect with well whatever your spiritual side because there's no it's no boundaries, there's no it's no guideline, there's no rule book. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to you know what I'm saying, you can you can find yourself or you can be looking for yourself your whole life. But I think with this album, is, shit, I'm 30 now, y'all. So with this album, it's more like what's inside instead of instead of like what's on the surface. You know? How does it make you feel to be one of the youngest artists to own all of your master recordings? Wow. Uh, for me... How I feel owning my masters, I kind of like it. Feels it's, it's dope. It's new. I like I'm young to be able to do it, but I'm also just mindful and very careful because not when I when I'm going into crazy detail, I'm just more mindful because I'm a young black man, and you know I didn't had I didn't had hiccups in my past. So with this accomplishment, I think that the things that I'm doing now with my music and you know, just where I'm at mentally when it when it comes to what type of songs I want to put out or what what I, what I want people to recognize me for with certain songs. I just feel like it's it's more cohesive now. Like it kind of makes more sense. It, it's like, and it's and it's not. It's what I'm here to do. It's like, I'm not I'm not here to 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 make the headlines. I'm here to make the, the good headlines, the music headlines. So, how do you stay positive? Good fucking question. Uh, <laughs> um, how do I stay positive? Man, you gotta stay, stay positive. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us, if you ever been through shit, you know that you're going. Most of the time, people stay up or, or during their day, day that they don't have, or during their week, they don't have four days that they're completely happy. You know what I'm saying? So I think I focused on the things that I do have and focus on the fans that I have and also just. What makes me happy, music, man. I think music in itself, single-handedly, can I can say has saved my life multiple times. Um, but you know, also too, I got a cheat code because I got my daughter, so I can look at her and then um, like every all the problems ain't as bad, you know. So that's 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 cheating, though. That's not that's not fair. <laughs> what is your method in painting and creating your canvas art? And who are some of your biggest artistic inspirations? Um, a lot of my, my core fans know who my artistic uh, inspirations are. I think what I would say to people who, who like like my art and kind of like, man, how do you do it? Trial and error. Man, it's trial and error. You go and paint, you can go get a, 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 a canvas or a piece of paper, and it could be totally shit to you. You could be just doing whatever and it, just, and it doesn't come out. But somebody else can see it and their perception of whatever you made is totally different. It works like that with music. It works like that with, with anything. With your colors, with your favorite colors. <laughs> Same shit. So it's just like <clears throat> when I'm able to paint, I kind of like, I don't I don't worry about what painting I'm doing or who who I learned from. 
like to do certain techniques, I just try to do the best thing that I can. And then if it ain't dope to me, then fuck it. If it ain't dope, I'll just go back and, and, and try to paint over it or redo it. It's no it's no set stone, nothing is mandatory. So I think when I paint, the freedom behind that is why I think why painters excel, why people excel at certain things because there's a freedom behind it. It's not it's not a you're not strapped down to a desk and forced, you know what I'm saying, to learn a certain thing. You learn as you go. I think that's that's why I gravitate to a lot of different things. The last question, do you have a message for your fans? Yeah, message to my fans. Obviously, it'll be go get the album. I know y'all listening to it, keep streaming it. Um, but the one part of the message that I would have is just to say, I wouldn't even have a message like a PSA. I would just have a thank you, but I would just say thank you guys continuously. Because I don't have, I don't have a, a, I don't go, I don't go to, to the, what is it, the generic shit. I don't, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to do that. It's not cliche. I don't try to do stuff that's cliche. And a lot of the times I withdraw from, from being exposed to going to interviews and saying certain things because they're not giving my fans, or they're not going to give y'all a Q&A. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to give you something that's directly for y'all and, and y'all feel like it, I'm talking to y'all. It's always something that I'm kind of trying to dig myself out of the hole from. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? The message to my fans is thank you guys for all these fucking years that y'all support Hey, you know what I'm saying? Rocking to my music, man. I ain't an old man yet, but when I start feeling it, I'll let y'all know. This is my first time on live. Um, album out. I set this shit up like it was a press conference. <laughs> but I just want to thank y'all, man. I love y'all. Um, play the album. Give me y'all feedback. Y'all can, y'all can at me and all that stuff. Tell me what songs y'all favorite. What songs y'all want videos to? And uh, we got that game tomorrow, H7. It's gonna be crazy. You know we can win though, right? I'm just letting you say. I'm just, I'm letting him, you know, do his thing, but we can bust that ass tomorrow. All right, so I just want to tell y'all, thank you. I love y'all, this is my first live. So hopefully it ain't my last. I know y'all be like, he wasn't on there that long. Fuck that, I was on here long enough. <laughs> I love y'all. Thank you so much for all y'all support. And to go out and out. And man, all the people posting it, all the videos y'all doing, I see all that shit. It's me posting y'all when I repost. So don't think it's like no, no hub or no, no label. I'm gonna get back to my video games, man. I love y'all. See you.